Hey crafty friends, it's Jenny from crafttestimies.com and today I have a little tutorial for you. It's for the Brothers Scan and Cut and it's how to make stencils and masks with your rubber stamps. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you how I do it. First, you're going to want to select a rubber stamp to use. This is an image from Stampin' Up. This is another one that I like and I've used. The ones you're going to want to pick for this are going to be completely closed so you can stamp or get an image or a cut around the outside only. Ones that are open in the middle don't work very well for this. Just as an example, I love this image, but if you notice there's negative spaces here in the middle that the skin and cut would have a hard time reading. So like I said, make sure it is a nice bold image that has a clear outside and an inside. Now I'm going to stamp my image and I notice here that at the bottom it might be difficult to see but it's actually open and just so that the brother can read it better I'm just going to add a little bit of black there. Again, this will make a nice a uh, bold line all the way to the outside. And now we're going to take it to the machine and scan it in. I added a little bit of extra basting spray to my mat just to make sure it was sticky enough. And you also might want to add a little bit of um, tape as well. I like this medical surgical tape. Just a little bit extra to make sure it stays put. going to go ahead and use the scan feature and then the direct cut feature. Now we're going to go ahead and work on this image at the screen. I'm going to tap OK and narrow the amount of space that the skin and cut actually has to look at. Let's see here. There we go. So see now it's only looking at this little space right here. And I'm going to say OK. Now the first thing I want to cut is a mask so I can layer my images. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just out of this piece of paper. And I'm going to make sure that my settings are right. I know that my um, cut pressure only has to be about a four for this. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. So here you can see I've stamped my flower on a piece of pattern paper and I don't want it to um, bleed over. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to use that mask that I made and I'm going to line it up. And again, you're going to want to maybe use a little bit of um, repositionable tape just to help hold it down. I like this. And now I'm going to go ahead and use some of these, um, what are they called, pan pastels to help color in the image a little bit. And now I can go right like this, working from on the stencil into the inside and it just goes really, really, really fast, which we like. We like being able to craft accurately but quickly. And now I can lift this up, and there it is. Now, say for example, I wanted to go ahead and add one of those leaves, but I didn't want it, I want it to be behind this. Well, let me show you how you would do that. So now I'm gonna take the piece that I cut initially that just has the outside, 
and um, I'm going to go ahead and line it up so that it covers up what I just colored on. And again, just carefully tape it down with a piece of repositionable tape. And now I can go through and stamp on top and it won't mess up my image. So I might want to go like this. Just a little bit. And again, because I already have a mask ready to go, I can put this right on top, line it up, like so, tape it down a little bit, and then add some color right on top of that. Just going in the middle. I like these little Martha Stewart pouncers for this, by the way. And just a little bit on top. And now I can lift it up. And I can lift it up. And voila! I have my stamped image. And I've used a mask and a stencil. All without having to buy anything extra. I just used my brother's scan and cut. And I even got to recycle some plastic, which is great. So I hope you found this helpful. Hey! Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate you being here. Please uh, feel free to leave us a comment below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much and have a crafty day.